Hello, happy Saturday. I don't know if I've sent you a book on Saturday before, but this is a holiday weekend and I won't send another one until Tuesday. So this is Yoko Show and Tell by Rosemary Wells. And you recognize Yoko and you recognize that you're at my coffee table. And you know about show and tell. And we've done a little bit of show and tell by doing Zooms. The other day, Eric and Tanner showed us their puzzles. One had 750 pieces and one had 1,000. I hope you're doing well with them. And I hope the rest of you are finding good things to do this holiday weekend. Happy Memorial Day. But this isn't about Memorial Day. And you're going to say, oh, no, we never do this to our books. But Miss Barr ordered this from Amazon a few years ago, and it used to belong to someone else. And I think she was little and didn't know not to do that to books, but you do. So we can see Yoko in all different kinds of clothes. And then this end page tells about Girls' Day, which is March 3 in Japan, and Boys' Day, which is May 5th, which is my birthday, so I never forget about Boys' Day in Japan. But sometimes I forget about Girls' Day because... That's none of our birthdays. But this is called Yoko Show and Tell by Rosemary Wells. One afternoon when the wind blew and the snow flew, the mailman knocked on the door. He had a package for Yoko. It had come all the way from Japan. Yoko opened the package carefully. Inside was a little doll in a kimono. There was a note from Yoko's Obisan and Ojisan, her granny and grandpa in Japan. This is what the note says. This is written in Japanese, but this is written in English. My name is Miki. Long ago, I belonged to your mama. Before that, to your Obisan and great Obisan. Please sit me on my red carpet steps and bring me candy until girls' day. Obisan and Ojisan will visit soon after. Yoko's mama helped Yoko arrange the red carpet for Miki. Yoko placed Miki in the window and brought her candy each morning. By evening, the candy was gone. At last, the morning of Girls' Day came, March 3. You can tell by the calendar in English. This is the calendar in Japanese. Yoko brought Miki a platter of peach blossom cakes that her mama had made in honor of the celebration. At my school, they don't know about Girls' Day, said Yoko. I will take Miki to school for show and tell. Miki is too delicate to take to school, said Yoko's mama. Please, please, mama, said Yoko. Yoko's mama shook her head. In her big no voice, she told Yoko, we don't trouble trouble or trouble will trouble us. We should remember that. We don't trouble trouble or trouble will trouble us. So do you think Yoko... Will listen to Mama. Oh, there's the school bus. But Yoko was too excited about Girls' Day. Everyone in my class will love you, she said to Miki. I will bring you right home, and Mama will never know. Oh boy, is Yoko making a good choice? On the school bus, the Frank saw Miki peeking out of Yoko's coat. What's that, Yoko? asked Frank. You'll see in show and tell, said Yoko. I want to see now. Frank grabbed Miki from Yoko. He tossed Miki all the way down the aisle of the school bus. No, said Yoko. Please, no. Hey, this is fun, said the other Frank. Back and forth, Miki went. Okay, Yoko hasn't made a wise choice, but have the Franks. And remember, Mama said Miki was fragile. She was delicate. At last, Miki bounced off the ceiling and landed in a mud puddle on the bus floor. Oh boy, does that look like a good thing? We are going to be in so much trouble with Mrs. Jenkins, it's not funny, said the Franks. In school, Mrs. Jenkins asked, Do you have a show and tell surprise for us today, Yoko? Yoko could not answer. Look, she's kind of put her head down. Yoko could not do her singing or drawing. She would not eat lunch. Mrs. Jenkins called Yoko's mama. Now, Mrs. Jenkins doesn't know what's wrong, but we know what's wrong, don't we? Yoko's mama 
drove Yoko home from school. Tea and sweet bean candy will make you feel better, my little lotus flower, said Yoko's mama. But nothing helped. I'll get Miki, said Yoko's mama. She'll make you smile. No, said Yoko. Why does Yoko not want mama to get Miki? Yoko brought out poor, ruined Miki. Do you still love me? Yoko asked her mama. Yoko's mama whispered, You have made a bad mistake, my little lotus flower, but I love you just as much as ever. We will take Miki to the emergency room of Dr. Kiroshura's doll hospital, said Yoko's mama. So this is a hospital for dolls. What a terrible accident, said Dr. Kiroshura. Miki will have to go into surgery right away. Do you think he, the doctor can help Miki? All week long, Yoko went to the doll hospital during visiting hours. Yoko brought red bean candy and sat next to Miki's bed. It's not the red steps anymore, is it? Dr. Kiroshura bended, mended Miki's arms. He repaired the crack in her face and applied a new nose. Miki's lips were repainted so smoothly and neatly, you could see no scars at all. Yoko's mama sewed a brand new kimono of flowered silk. Yoko made Miki a pair of new white cotton socks. Miki may go home tomorrow, said Dr. Kiroshura. Miki was all ready for Obisan and Ojisan's springtime visit from Japan. Obisan admired Miki's new kimono. She is so beautiful and not one scratch after all these years, she said. Who is that outside scrubbing the steps, making all the pe peach, raking all the peach blossoms and pulling up the weeds, asked Ojisan. I had to go back and read because I called that making. It didn't start with the right letter, did it? Who do you think is raking and scrubbing? And why are they being so helpful? And they all lived happily ever after. Thank you for reading with me. Happy Memorial Day. And if you want to find out about the dedication, you may. Oh, also, if you want to re enjoy more Rosemary Wells collect collections, you can find Max and Ruby on YouTube. They're the ones we like to watch sometimes during snack time. Bye.